Picture this, it's a balmy summer evening. The smell of buttered popcorn wafting through the air as you settle into that creaky, worn out theater seat. The year is 1974 and a flicker of anticipation dances in your eyes. Little did you know you were about to embark on a cinematic journey that would etch itself into the recesses of your memory the longest yard. The silver screen lights up and Burt Reynolds, clad in a jersey and an irreverent smirk, takes center stage. That grin, that charisma, it was magnetic. Suddenly, you find yourself caught in the web of a sports comedy that transcends the boundaries of the genre. Fast forward to the gridiron, where inmates swap their prison blues for football gear, the clash of pads, and the roar of the crowd forming a symphony of rebellion. Remember the gut-busting laughter as Paul Crew concocts a team of misfits, transforming a motley crew into gridiron gladiators. It wasn't just a movie, it was a roller coaster of emotions, a rebellion against the expected, and a celebration of the human spirit's resilience. The Longest Yard wasn't merely a celluloid spectacle, it was a testament to the transformative power of camaraderie and the allure of the underdog. As we journey through the annals of this cinematic classic, Let's peel back the layers and uncover some random facts that may have eluded your cinematic radar. Did you know that the football scenes were so realistic that the NFL banned the film's broadcast for a year? Or that Burt Reynolds, the very heart and soul of the movie, initially turned down the role of Paul Crew? Intrigued? You should be. So, whether you're revisiting the antics of Paul Crew and his ragtag team were experiencing the longest yard for the first time, prepare to be transported back to that moment when the lights dimmed and the magic of cinema took hold. Now, let's dive into the unknown and unravel the lesser known threads woven into this cinematic tapestry. And there you have it, a glimpse into the captivating universe of the longest yard and the stories that breathe life into its frames all in the name of cinema's indelible magic. So, kick back, grab some popcorn, and let the celluloid enchantment unfold. After all, it's not just a movie, it's an experience. Buckle up for a ride through the reels of time, it's about to get interesting. The curtain is up, the stage is set, and the spotlight is on, let the revelations begin. The Longest Yard, a 1974 sports comedy film directed by Robert Aldrich, finds its roots in the unlikely pairing of football and humor. The narrative revolves around Paul Crew, played by Burt Reynolds, a disgraced former professional quarterback who lands in a prison where he is tasked with assembling a team of inmates to play against the guards in a football game. The film seamlessly weaves humor with a poignant exploration of power dynamics and rebellion within the confines of a correctional facility. Reynolds' charismatic portrayal of Crew and the supporting cast's chemistry add layers of charm to the film. The Longest Yard stands out not just for its unconventional sports-centered narrative, but also for its daring blend of genres, creating a distinctive style that resonates with audiences. This unique concoction of sports, comedy, and drama had a lasting impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent sports-themed comedies and cementing its place as a classic. The film's legacy endures as a testament to the timeless appeal of rebellion, camaraderie, and the unexpected places where sports and laughter intersect in storytelling, making it a landmark in cinematic history. The Longest Yard, unveiling the gridiron realities in 1974, producer Albert S. Ruddy birthed the longest yard from the gritty realities of a friend's shattered football dreams. Inspired by a once promising player's life plummeting into a minimum wage gig at a sandwich shop, Ruddy saw a narrative unfold. The ex-athlete, mistreated by a snobbish girlfriend, provided the raw material for a cinematic touchdown. The Mean Machine's dressing room scene harbors a hidden struggle. Actor Richard Cale, towering over teammates, wrestles with a too small helmet. In the game, eagle eyes notice his distinctive headgear. Hale's ill-fitting helmet unfolds into a subtle but captivating subplot, revealing the intricacies behind the gridiron glamour. Venturing into unexplored territory, The Longest Yard broke ground as one of the first football films. Here, a wide receiver or flanker is known then, stands upright at the scrimmage line. Departing from tradition, the receiver, pre-1970s, mimicked lineman stances. The film's deviation echoes the evolution of football, capturing a pivotal shift in the game's visual narrative. These intricate details paint the longest yard not just as a cinematic venture, but as a reflection of football's untold stories. It transforms a failed athlete's tale and an actor's literal struggle with a helmet into on-screen gems. 
Rudda's vision, coupled with Kale's helmet saga and football's evolving imagery, immortalizes the movie as a gritty chronicle of life beyond the end zone. In the longest yard, the clash isn't merely on the field. It's a collision of real-life setbacks and gridiron dreams, etching a unique legacy in the annals of sports cinema. Behind the scenes of The Longest Yard, Inmates vs. Troopers Showdown in a surprising turn of events, the legacy of the 1974 movie The Longest Yard extends beyond the silver screen to a gridiron clash between Georgia State Prison inmates and state troopers, as reported by Sports Illustrated's Rick Tellender in The Ock. 17, 1988 issue, the aftermath of the film's production saw the prison football field become a battleground. After the film crew wrapped up, inmates utilized the abandoned equipment to challenge Georgia State Troopers. The game quickly escalated, with accusations of trooper arrogance fueling the intensity. In a one-sided contest, the inmates dominated, ending the game at halftime with a staggering score of 66-0. This incident marked the abrupt end of prison football in Georgia. The unexpected clash sheds light on the film's impact, transcending its role as mere entertainment. The blurred lines between fiction and reality underscore the unique connection forged between the cast and the incarcerated community during the production at Georgia State Prison. The behind-the-scenes football showdown adds a riveting chapter to the narrative of The Longest Yard, showcasing how the film left an indelible mark not only on the screen but also in the annals of Georgia State prison history. In the world of cinema, such off-screen dramas are seldom documented but reveal the unpredictable nature of filmmaking. The Longest Yard, in this instance, went beyond its script, becoming a catalyst for an unexpected clash that resonated far beyond the movie set. In the grander scheme, this incident reflects the powerful impact that film can have on its surroundings, blurring the lines between fiction and reality. As the final whistle blew in that impromptu game, it symbolized the end of an era for prison football in Georgia, forever linked to the legacy of a movie that dared to go beyond the screen. So, next time you revisit The Longest Yard, remember that its influence reached beyond the cinema, making history in the unlikeliest of place in a prison football field in Georgia. As we draw the curtain on this cinematic journey through the iconic 1974 film, The Longest Yard, we invite you to reflect upon the unique and enduring connection you may have formed with this classic tale of underdogs, rebellion, and the unifying power of sport. Set against the gritty backdrop of a prison, this film taps into the essence of the human spirit's resilience and our innate yearning for redemption. Through the lens of Paul Crewe's transformation, portrayed brilliantly by Burt Reynolds, we are reminded of our own capacity for change and growth, even in the most challenging of circumstances. The gripping action, unforgettable characters, and the emotional crescendo that is the final football showdown make The Longest Yard an indelible part of cinema history. Perhaps you've cheered for the cons as if they were your own team or found a kinship with Crew's journey of self-discovery. Maybe it's the humor or the timeless camaraderie that keeps you coming back for more. We all have our reasons for cherishing this film, and we'd love to hear yours. In the comments section below, feel free to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or reflections on The Longest Yard. What resonated with you the most? How has this film left its mark on your cinematic journey? We appreciate your time and interest in revisiting this cinematic gem. It's your engagement and passion that make these discussions so enriching and enjoyable. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories about The Longest Yard. Until then, happy reflecting.